Hi guys, I'm Sian Junaidin for Z How To, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show how you can change the file format of a drive. So over here, I have few drives, but all of them are kind of formatted in NTFS. But I have a USB pen that is formatted in FAT. So if you go to the properties, you'll see uh, that the file type of this USB pen is FAT32. So if you look into the early 2000s. Uh, you'll find that most of these hard drives were also FAT32 prior to Windows XP and FAT32 was alright by then but today it's kind of outdated. The reason is in FAT32 the largest contiguous file you can have in your disk is 4 gigabytes in size and as you know most of today's videos kind of exceed this uh, file size limitation. So if you're kind of having a FAT32 hard drive you will not be able to have a file that is greater than 4 gigabits in size. So one of the options you have uh, in converting your hard drive or your partition into FAT from FAT to NTFS is by formatting it. So if you want to format a hard drive you can just select it, right click on it and go to format and then give the file system that you desire uh, give it the volume label and select if you want to have a quick format or not and you can say start. So once you click start the far disk will be erased completely of the data that it had. This is not a very good idea because sometimes we may not be able to move this important data or back up them. So there is another way that you can use to kind of convert this file system to FAT from FAT32 to NTFS. So what you had to do is you had to open command prompt, actually an elevated command prompt, in the sense the command prompt has to be run as the administrator. It will ask um, if you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer. I'm going to say yes. And once you're there, you need to know the drive letter of your hard drive you're going to uh, convert. That in my case is I. I'm going to say convert I colon and I'm going to put a space I'm going to set a slash and say FS colon NTFS so what this practically says is I'm asking Windows to convert the I partition and the file system should be NTFS so once I press enter Windows will try to convert this file into NTFS and hopefully we will not lose our data anyways it's kind of best uh, to back up your data, the most important data you have because sometimes things could go wrong. I think our conversion should be over now, by now. Yep. And if I go back to my computer and s look into my USB pen, you see we have our what you call file already. It's not been removed. If I go to properties, You see the file type has changed from FAT32 to NTFS. So convert command in the command prompt is kind of a much better way of converting a hard drive of partition into f from FAT to NTFS. So that's about uh, converting file types. If you want to kind of completely eliminate the data and uh, kind of, you know, clean up the hard disk, you can go through the format which is by right clicking on it and going to format. Uh, but otherwise the convert command in an elevated command prompt in the sense you had to run it as administrator. You had to click on it, right click on it and go run as administrator. And once you have this elevated command prompt you can use the convert command to convert a hard drive into NTFS. So that's about converting hard drives uh, in 20 thank you for viewing i'm sian chunadin for c how to